It's one of the largest and most complex projects ever undertaken by Norfolk Southern and the rail industry. Its reach extends to 8,000 Norfolk Southern track miles in every state in Norfolk Southern's operating territory and beyond to every major railroad in the United States. It's a pioneering effort demonstrating innovative development of new technology and systems hardware. It's a model of industry cooperation. It's a safety net for train operators. Its heart and soul are people, people driven by a single purpose, people united by teamwork to succeed in creating something that never has been done before. That something is positive train control. I've been with Norfolk Southern just over 30 years and this is one of the most challenging projects. A lot of ways it kind of replicates when the U.S. tried to go to the moon. Back in the 60s, we had a goal we know we needed to get to, but we didn't have all the technology in place, we didn't have all the systems internally in place. The PTC project is the largest magnitude project of this generation. It has been a challenge since day one, and it's been a pleasant surprise to see how the people that are engaged in the work, how they have joined forces, how they've linked together, and how they've made a concerted effort to install PTC. PTC by definition is focused on preventing accidents in four areas. Speed related accidents, authority limit related accidents, switch position accidents, and also to protect roadway workers who are on the track. Whenever a train is operated and starts approaching those boundaries of PTC protection, that's when the safety net really kicks in and brings that train back into the compliance area. It's not a system which takes all human interaction out of play. It's really about providing an added layer of safety if that train does head for an unsafe area. When we started to build the PTC footwork, these products were non-existing. The industry referred to it as immature technology, but basically just wasn't there. People have never seen any of this type of equipment, so they basically had to be trained from the bottom up on what to do with it. When you account for the fact that we have something like 21,000 employees that we have to train, it becomes a huge undertaking. And keep in mind, that's, that's not 21,000 people all receiving the same training. PTC is uh, really complicated. It is basically taking a lot of technology and putting it on top of the way that we railroad now. We use radios, we use towers, we use different servers, we use all kind of software within all these devices to talk PTC and make sure the system works. There's been a tremendous amount of work both at NS and through the industry together to make sure that the system's gonna do what it's supposed to do. It does present challenges. Every railroad operates in a slightly different fashion and we have to ensure that our equipment operates on their roads and theirs operates on ours. As with any new technology like PTC and the broad scope of deployment, uh, the costs are significant. It's projected for the entire industry to be over $10 billion worth of development and deployment. For Norfolk Southern, we're over $1.8 billion uh, just to satisfy our deployment efforts. Norfolk Southern started development of a form of positive train control in 2005. When fully operational in 2020, the project will have spanned 15 years. PTC uses technology that's on the locomotive, and it's really the brain of the system. We've got about nine or 10 shops right now that are installing locomotives, and the electricians there go through a pretty focused training program about how to put the equipment on. And then the installation itself takes around three days to complete to get all of those components. Put in that little bitty piece of real estate on a locomotive to make it work. Here at Birmingham, we work one uh, PTT install at a time, basically. There's five or six different locomotive modifications that we do, depending on what's on the specific locomotive. On paper, it takes about 108 man hours to do each unit, again, depending on what it's equipped with when it rolls in here. Whether getting a locomotive ready for PTC in a shop or testing software in Norfolk Southern's PTC lab in Atlanta, coordinating all the moving parts demands the highest level of performance. The T standing tall in the middle of PTC could suitably be ascribed to the teamwork necessary to pull it off. Teamwork that is a core value of Norfolk Southern people. Uh, so many people have commented that 
Train Control has brought together some of the sharpest minds in the industry to work on this. And looking back on it, I don't think we could have put together a better team, a more experienced team, a more knowledgeable team. There are folks from all over the railroad that are coming together to make this work. We're using data and technology to make a safe railroad safer. And let's do it right and let's make the best of it. We're really trying to change the tone. I'm trying to change the tone on PTC and see it as an opportunity uh, and not just a burden. And specifically, how can we use PTC in the future as the, as the building block for the railroad up tomorrow? Positive Train Control, a project reminiscent of America's genius and ingenuity in placing a human footprint on the moon. A project for today's generation of railroaders, making footprints where no one has gone before.